After downloading the Hertz 20.7v, then you want to extract. So this is an archive file. So you want to extract the content out from it. So you can just simply choose uh, extract here and wait. Okay, now uh, I just finished unzipping the files. So uh, inside the folder, it includes all the Python source codes. Right, so this game is written based on Python. So in order to run this game, we need to download the latest Python. So you can simply go to the Google and search Python. And go just I I'll just directly go for the downloads page and download Python 3.8.5 for Windows. Uh, but if you're using other uh, operating system like Linux, Mac OS, uh, just choose the right version for your uh, operating system. Okay, now uh, I'm downloading Python and installing it. Okay, uh, so a tip here is to uh, click on Add Python 3.8 to Pass uh, right here, uh, because this way it will save you later. It saves you time later to do some manual configuration for the environmental variables. And wait for the installation to finish. Okay, now uh, let's go back to the Hearth 20 folder that we just downloaded. So now if I try to uh, double click some of the Python modules like this, uh, it doesn't open. Uh, because we are still missing some necessary Python libraries to start the game. Uh, in some of your machines, uh, these Python modules may not be associated with the Python interpreter yet. So another way to run this Python module is to uh, first, uh, you may want to copy the folder, the path uh, which these Python modules are in, and then go to the start menu and uh, type cmd to open the command line mode and then type cd uh, space and then right click and the path you just copied will be automatically pasted here okay so now uh, we just cd means change directory so I just change to my directory where the uh, python hard executable is located so there uh, I can type python uh, start game, python start game, uh, debug mode, for example. Okay, this, this is one of the three uh, executable uh, game components. Uh, .py. So python start game, debug mode, .py, and press enter. So, uh, so this way, uh, if you run the python module this way, uh, it will show you uh, the errors and telling you what have caused the failure of the game. So now it says uh, module not found error, no module named Pygame. So Pygame is a library that I used to develop the game. So you also need to install the Pygame extension, I mean Pygame library to Python. And this is very easy. You can simply type pip install followed by the module name pip install pygame. So this will uh, automatically uh, install the pygame library to your uh, Python environment. Okay, so wait for a while. Um, it, it, will, it, will, it will install very quickly. So now if I try to run the debug mode again, okay, it still tell you uh, no module named pyodbc. So you know what you, you need to do pip install uh, py obbc. Okay, so this will install the py obbc to your uh, environment. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, no module name numpy. So pip install numpy. Okay, so numpy is a very useful library, not only for this game, but also for uh, analytics uh, and data science. So you, you, you may want to install NumPy as soon as possible. So in addition to NumPy, uh, we will also use SciPy, S-C-I-P-I. -I. 
uh, in the scopes. Okay, so now I finished installing the three libraries that uh, that weren't necessary, and let's try to run the game again. Okay, so this time the the game window opens, but the game still doesn't start uh, because of some uh, uh, database issue. So we haven't entered the username and the password in order to access the database for this game. Right. So if you go back to the Hearth 20 folder, uh, there is a file named database.config uh, where you need to enter your username and password to access the game. Right. So you want to right click and open the database.config with a notepad app. So you see, uh, there uh, the user ID and password are still missing. So uh, here uh, you want for username, uh, your default username is the uh, you must Boston ID. Uh, so that, that your name followed by some numbers. Um, and well, what's going on here? Okay, so and your password is uh, your uh, a uh, uppercase a uh, at followed by the eight digit uh, student ID that you have. So uh, so in my case, let me just enter some round numbers. So the, the, so you should have a eight digit student ID in uh, at UMass Boston. So please enter uh, uppercase a at symbol followed by the eight digit uh, password. Okay. Now, uh, after entering your password and username, uh, you can come back to the uh, command line and start the game one more time. Now the game can uh, be played. So basically, uh, this is a game uh, replicating the uh, popular uh, game developed at Blizzard uh, called Hearthstone. Uh, but the entire game uh, is developed in Python in this course, and the source code is provided to you. Okay, so, uh, so mainly the game speed will be dependent on the network speed that you have. Uh, there might be a little bit laggy, uh, depending on your uh, also CPU and uh, the internet speed. Okay, but basically, uh, the players on the lower side and the upper side fight against each other using those playable cards. And each card has some special ability, uh, like increasing, buffing, debuffing the opponents, and, and so on. Okay, just showing some examples. All right, so in this debug mode, uh, you can control uh, both players, uh, uh, including your yourself and your opponent. Okay, so this is how the uh, single player debug mode works. So you can use this debug mode to um, configure many things, uh, like testing whether card uh, the cars are functioning correctly or not. Okay, so another play mode is called play versus AI. So uh, in that mode, uh, you're going to play against a robot controlled by AI. So um, in order to play uh, in that mode, you can type Python space start game vs AI.py. So, but if you play in that mode, uh, don't forget to come back to the uh, command line mode and enter your player name. Uh, so, for example, uh, Zhang is my name. Uh, if it's the first time to play the game, you need to create a password. Uh, so, this password is different from the database password that you're given, uh, the A your student student uh, ID things. Uh, so, you can create any customized password here to play the game. Uh, as long as it has less than 20 letters. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, for example. Okay. So after uh, entering your username and create a password, uh, now you can choose a hero to play with. Okay. So it will, uh, you will enter into a draft mode uh, where you can choose from 3 cards uh, each time until you pick 30 cards in total.
So after uh, selecting 30 cards, uh, the game will start. Speeding up a little bit. So uh, anytime during the draft, uh, you can hover your mouse on the right hand side to check the details of the card you have selected already. And after picking 30 cards in total, uh, the game will start. And just be patient to wait for a few seconds. Now, uh, at the start of the game, uh, you need to choose uh, which card to start with. Uh, you can uh, move down any cards that you don't want and hit down with selection. So, uh, so another round of three or four cards will be given to you as your starting hand. So this phase is called Mulligan. So in AI mode, uh, your opponent will play the same hero as you do and uh, your opponent AI will also have the same starting hand that it has you have. Okay. So AI will uh, uh, automatically choose the decisions. Uh, for now, uh, I didn't do very smart AI. Uh, the AI will just simply uh, pick any playable cards from the left and play it against uh, a random target. You see, uh, AI uh, So in the turn number three, uh, two and three, the, there's no playable cards at the AI's hand. So the AI didn't do anything. But on, you see, on play, uh, turn number four, the uh, AI played a, a minion with cost four. And in turn five, uh, the AI did something first and used the rest of the four mana to play, uh, play another minion, right? So basically the AI is very st stupid at the, uh, at the current uh, stage. So one of the options uh, of your course project in this course is to develop a smarter AI for the opponent. All right, so in the last play mode, uh, which is a multiplayer mode, uh, you can fight against another human being, human player, uh, which can be your friend, your classmate, and so on. So for that, uh, for this purpose, you can do Python space start game online.py. And also don't forget to uh, enter your username. So for the main player, uh, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the John that I just created in the AI mode. Alright, so for the uh, multiplayer mode, uh, because I need two players, uh, I'm starting another PC uh, on my Amazon AWS and uh, start game online. So on this client, uh, I'm going to use the TA account. I'm going to use TA account. So the TA is a druid and you can see, um, the opponent is my main account, which was a paladin. Okay, so coming back to my uh, main player. Uh, so each player can do it, uh, his or her own things on the client uh, software. Right, so for example, in turn one, I'm playing this, uh, this guy called uh, Gold, Goldshire or something. Right, so on the TA's uh, client, you see, the opponent has played the card that I just played from my main account. Right, so in this way, the two clients are synchronized using the database. Okay, so now it's TA's turn. Uh, right, so t in TA's Turn one, I'm gonna coin and play this uh, red uh, lady and end my turn. See, uh, on my main uh, client uh, program, the opponent has played this red lady. Right, so this way, uh, two players can fight against each other uh, if both are connected to the internet. 
think about it. So this is how how to play the game in this course.